please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And let's get it. Let's go. Hello. Well, I finally got vaccinated. And it's not something that I'm happy about. That's why it took so long. Um, but I wanted to talk about how they have put all the responsibilities on the unvaccinated. But didn't they tell us that if you take the vaccination, you can still spread it? Which leads me to a WTF moment of why would they lift the mask mandate if it can still spread? Another WTF moment. Why are their concerts still going on during a pandemic? Another WTF moment. Why was school out when kids couldn't be affected? But now with the new variant that's affecting kids, why is school back in? And one of the biggest WTF moments is why isn't it announced to the public that six months after you take your vaccine, you are no longer in the safe zone of not being hospitalized, which is what prompted this discussion because I heard about Jesse Jackson and his wife. Hope they have a speedy recovery, but they did that I've heard they took the vaccine in January. Um, so, you know, it's now August. And about a month ago, I was looking at Inside Edition and it was a guy on there. He was very upset because he's like, nobody told me that I no longer had this vaccine in my system. He went to go get blood work and it was not there. Then I spoke to someone that I knew that had also went to the doctor to get uh, blood work that was unrelated and they found out that they didn't even have it in their system. And I had to bust someone's bubble because they were talking bad about the unvaccinated people not realizing they were in the same situation. The look on his face though. Which brings me to my next point. A lot of people who choose not to take the vaccine are scared. They are not trusting, which should be very understandable when you look at how the situation is being handled. So when you have people who like like I just said I went on and took the vaccine and I'm gonna go ahead and still mask up you know I don't think that this is right the position that we're put in because you don't trust whatever this is and you don't want to feel forced to have to put something in your body or you can't fly or you can't do this or you can't do that and um, a lot of people <laughs> So I've seen some people comparing the vaccine to like things that you put in your body, um, like other type of medications or whatever. And that's not the same comparison. First of all, you're not forced to take other medications. And in a way, they are kind of trying to force us to take this vaccine. You do have options with other things. Also, a lot of these medications that we don't know what's in them, at least the side effects are listed. With this vaccine, it's kind of like you find out as you go. So I don't understand that comparison. I don't understand trying to down someone for not taking the vaccination and trying to make it seem like they're spreading it when the people that are vaccinated are out going to concerts where there's thousands of people and they don't have on a mask knowing that they can also still spread it which I don't understand why they would still be allowing concerts. You know, there's a lot of WF moments going on right now where how can you trust the situation? So I just hope that people try to get a little bit more understanding with each other and not try to disrespect people based on their emotions of what's going on this is a very personal matter and if you pressure someone to take the vaccine and something ends up happening to them are you gonna be there are you gonna be there for them i respect people if they do or they don't what i don't respect is someone who within six feet and disrespect them because you feel a certain way. Like you can believe what you want to believe about the mask. You can believe what you want to believe about this whole, you know, situation. But don't get in someone's space. Respect other people's boundaries. The other day somebody walked up on me 
um, like behind me and I was still trying to get my change. And this guy, he's like really close, talking loud with no mask. It's always the ones that got a lot to say and they don't have on no mask, <laughs> talking loud. And so I said, excuse me, like I'm trying to get my change. Like, and I'm still doing the six feet thing. <laughs> And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's, it's amazing. Like, people really be in their own world. Some people don't even really get, like, bag up. And some people don't care. Hopefully, this thing will be over soon. But honestly, by the way they're handling things, it's almost like, huh, it just seems like they are sending mixed messages. One minute, they want to get rid of the virus. But then they are allowing people to go to these major events that's not a necessity. So it comes off like they are really only interested in pushing the vaccine. More than you're trying to get rid of the virus. And I, I just don't understand what would be the reason for that. It's almost like I'm just going to go off the deep end. It's almost like some aliens have taken over. And like, you know what? What's the best way to, for us to control these people? Because a lot of this stuff is not making sense. Well, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.